morning everybody this is a Wednesday uh, it's nearly half past seven and it's 17 degrees a bit of spray on the windscreen this morning so it looks like we may have some rain today um, I'm in the bucket because my ears needed a bit of a break so we've got the slut out today it probably needed a run as well um, I hope you liked yesterday's video. Sap on Tuesdays are always good. They just get expensive. <laughs> um, today, I, I got my days wrong. The Audi is tomorrow. So we'll be doing the Audi for an install tomorrow. That's the A3 Cabriolet today. Um, I did have a guy come down and ask about some equipment in a BMW, I think it was. Wanted tweeters and a subwoofer. Don't think that's happening because I tried ringing him yesterday and he ignored me call. So that's uh, another flaky job that's not coming in. But holding the space for somebody else that could have had an earlier job. Awesome. But. Nevertheless, uh, I've got a T6 in this afternoon for a stereo Pioneer and a fascia kit um, and we'll see whatever comes in in the morning. This person's got way too many stickers on their car. First one in this morning, we've got this little T6. So I'm in a new fascia, new Pioneer. It's quite nice this one, got some nice little touches in the interior. Some big old wheels on him, look, the back's all tricked out. Pretty sick, I like this one. Obviously works at Honda, look. <laughs> Beautiful. See me? You're gonna be my little camera person. Turn the camera around, say hello. To yourself. Hello. <laughs> so we're going to unpack. We're going to unpack and get ready. A keep sure it's looking at me. A Pioneer fascia kit. Pioneer radio and a fascia kit for this gentleman with the T6. Show him the van. What colour is it, babe? Mm. Black. Black. Yeah. Not like your hair, which you coloured in this morning, is it? And what colour is your hair this morning, Dub? It's pink, it's green, it's orange and yellow, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You can see for yourself if you want. Children. They've got pink hair actually. Yeah? Mummy wasn't happy about you colouring in your own hair though, was she? Mm -hmm. No, you all that bag. Right, so we're going to take off the cage. There's our radio look. Our new Pioneer. We're going to take off this stupid sticky label. This Pioneer loves sticking these things on. We get a little mark on the screen that we've got to get rid of. And we get out our fascia kit. This bit. And our fascia cover. Cage. Just while we're thinking about it, um, a subscriber did ask me about the part number for the pokey tool. I did did put it on the uh, video 18, 18, 17 I think it was or something like that. I've written it on there for you so you can see what the part number is. We need a Phillips, no we don't, we want a flathead screwdriver. We're going to bend out our tabs so the cage stays in situ. So it's our cage nice and tight. And then what we're going to do just is we're going to make the radio look sit nice and neat through this hole. So we turn it on its side. And we get our little screw pack. 
Now the screw pack comes with what we call fine screws. Can you see the thread is all fine? So we're not going to use those because Pioneer uses these ones which is called coarse thread. Can you see the thread's a lot bigger? So we'll get out four of those. See the thread is different on that one, it's thicker. You're going to come and work for daddy soon, aren't you? Fit stereos for me. Earn um, me lots of money, aren't you? Too right, she says. Alright, so we're going to go adjust this by millimetre. So we're going to go back one click, pop that on so that is perfectly flush, and then our radio will poke through at a nice point. Get our little buzzy, buzzy, buzzy tool. It's alright, doesn't it? It's not going to be loud. I thought it was the loud one. No, it's not the gun. It's just the quiet one. Hold the camera still. Let me do the other side. Put on our adjustment. doesn't have to be torqued up, we're not trying to rip it out of the cage, just nice and gently. That'll sit in there, and then we go, you ready for the magic trick? Point the camera. Go. Ta-da! <laughs> and then our fascia. And there's our nicely fitted radio. Cool, right? Looks nice, doesn't it? Right, next thing we've got to do, we've got to prepare our handbrake earth. So we get out our Pioneer power cable. And where is Daddy's crimpers gone? There they are. So we're gonna take our what colour is this wire? Green. Green. And we're gonna take our what colour yeah. is this wire? That's right, Jess. And we're gonna go halfway down, hold them together. We're gonna cut, and then we're gonna drop which wire? The green one. And then we screw it. Burp. Burp. And we're gonna twist these together so they can have a big long cuddle. <gasps> Pop that in there. Give that a squeeze. To this one. Pop that in there. And put the two together. That's that bit then. That can sit in there. There's lots of cables there. Yeah, lots of RCA holes or phono leads. Then we've got our magic cable for our steering controls, our magic cable for our USB. So the USB is going to go in, this one here, that one there, steering controls, going to go in the wired controller there. We've got to put our microphone wire in, but that can go in in a minute. This is a VWT6. There are two different plugs. There is the normal quad lock, which looks like this. Can you see that? And then there is the new style quad lock, which looks like this. This is the, the different version, which has the two powers at the top here and speaker feeds there. Alright, so this one, because the T6 is the newer vehicle, 
we've got to use this special plug and box, not the older special plug and box. That's a Pioneer, so we don't need to change any of our canvas leads, so they can all stay the same. We're not interested in these. So we can cut these off and tape them up. Faye, turn it down a bit, please. A bit more. I'm going to tape these up so they're nice and neat. Then, somebody did ask me what the other leads are for. So, the pink wire is for speed pulse in case you need a sat nav with a speed pulse from the car. This will be canvas generated. The green one is our original handbrake earth, but we're not going to use that because we want the unit to work all the time. And the rear, the purple one and the white stripe is the reverse camera input, which will go here. One thing not to forget is tape up the stereo mute. Otherwise, if that hits metal, it will ground out the chassis and the radio will go silent. And then the last thing we've got to do is the blue and white wire which is our antenna electric aerial or amp remote so we get out our quad lock aerial booster which will be like this one we put the aerial in the hole and then the two little blues are going to go together now we've got to think about which way is power coming out of this vehicle and the stereo so we know that this is the aerial side so we're going to put the male on there and the female is going to go on the stereo side because this is emitting power and if this comes unplugged this is covered that is then not this cannot earth out on a chassis and that one can but it will be disconnected by then so we can plug them in and that's our radio loom ready to go we've just got to put the DAB aerial in and the microphone and we're good to go happy with that Jess? do you know how to fit a stereo now? <laughs> Say thanks for watching. You haven't got all shy. You and your multicoloured hair. <clears throat> In a bit. Here we go. Beautiful. Looks posh. WeBuyAnyCard.com. Well, we're done for a Wednesday. That poor chat with a T6. Was a T6, not a T5, I got it wrong. Um, so in the end, the reverse camera was pre-wired by the company that did the conversion for him. Um, now, the garage thought, it was just kind of like a friend that was fitting it didn't realize I run my own business um, and was kind of trying to tell us to connect up some wiring into the back of the camera to make it work because it it was getting a although the, the screen was coming up on the pioneer to say it was registering the camera um, we weren't actually getting a reversing camera picture because there was no power going to the camera so the guy said, can I come down and speak? I'll phone the company that did the conversion. Um, and you can speak to them on the phone because you know what you're going on about. And I was like, yeah, fine. So I had a word with a guy. He said he tested it and it worked when they did it, but obviously it wasn't now. And all I had to do was connect two cables together, which wasn't necessarily the truth. Um, so reverse cameras need a signal wire obviously to tell the head unit when to switch to the camera view and they need a power feed for the camera to turn on but they also need an earth um, and what the boys had done 
whether someone was just being lazy or they didn't realize that they ran a power feed from the reverse light to the front of the screen and then that back fed through the camera wire to the back of the car on the tailgate to where the camera was um, but they just cut the earth cable off and screwed it into the closest place on the chassis on the tailgate well the tailgate moves if they'd have gone onto the rear wiring loom earth they'd have been okay but because they went onto the chassis the actual tailgate um, bit of a bit of a junior error but obviously the tailgate moves so the earth is not constant when the tailgate was up in the air and the latch was under duress it was making contact with the earth but when the tailgate was down there was no earth so the circuit wasn't complete therefore the camera didn't turn on so it's literally five ten past five we finished the car so i was on it another five hours just picking through somebody else's work trying to figure out what they'd done wrong um, I let him off a bit on the money because I kind of felt sorry for him and he was a nice guy um, but now he's got to have to go back to them um, get his money out of them as like a compensation for the time that I've spent on it to correct their uh, mistake I don't like doing it but at the end of the day I am still running a business and it's not my fault that the camera wasn't fitted properly so unfortunately got a bit extra of a bill but we did get the car sorted and he is happy now albeit a bit lighter in his pocket so that's it for today tomorrow we've got another busy one I'm just abandoning ship I'm not bothering cleaning up or picking up my tools today can it be asked? Um, tomorrow we've got the A3 Cabriolet. It is tomorrow, I've checked. Full system. So I will see you in the morning, peeps. Um, thanks for the input on Snap on Tuesday yesterday. I'm not sure whether that gun is a brushless motor or not, but I am going to check with Jody, and if it is, I'm going to change it to the brushless one because I don't want a hot gun. See you all in the morning. <laughs>